Dear students, welcome to our today's video. In our today's video, we'll be discussing difference between microemulsions and multiple emulsions. So before we proceed with our video, please do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting updates on upcoming videos. Let's begin students. The first that is what is microemulsions? So these are thermodynamically stable isotropic mixtures of oil, water, surfactant and sometimes co-solvent with particle size typically in range of 10 to 100 nanometers. Whereas multiple emulsions are complex emulsions consisting of droplet dispersed in another dispersed phase forming a system such as oil uh, water oil water or oil water oil that is O by W by O with a droplet size ranging from 1 to 100 micrometer. So this is the first point to differentiate based on the definitions. Okay. So you understood that is here they are moving to the second point. Microemulsions exhibit a single phase behavior and are thermodynamically stable whereas multiple emulsions they exhibit a multiple phase behavior due to presence of internal droplets within a continuous phase. So students in diagram itself that is the previous image what we saw uh, there you can see where our microemulsions they consist of oils or water that are dispersed in an another phase. However, in the second image you can very clearly see that it consists of a small droplet in a globules right and again in a another phase that is oil water oil right. So here they are comparatively less stable than microemulsions. Moving to next point differentiation. So droplet size in microemulsions is typically in nanometer range ideally between 10 to 100 nanometers whereas multiple emulsions have larger droplet size ranging from micrometers to tens of micrometers. Then microemulsions are kinetically stable and do not exhibit phase separation over time. However, multiple emulsions may be thermodynamically unstable and they may be prone to for phase separation on storage. Moving to next point of differentiation. So next point to differentiate is these microemulsions are commonly used as delivery system for what uh, poorly water soluble drugs, tropical formulations and in various industrial applications such as enhanced oil recovery. On the other hand, multiple emulsions are commonly employed in controlled drug delivery, encapsulation of bioactive compounds and in food and cosmetic industry for creating unique textures and encapsulating sensitive ingredients. Then the preparation by various methods such as phase inversion, then spontaneous emulsification and high pressure homogenization is possible for micro encapsulation whereas typically multiple emulsions are prepared using double emulsification techniques or phase inversion method. Moving to next point of differentiation. So micro emulsions typically have a near or equal ratio of oil, water and surfactant with the possibility of including a co-solvent in some cases or in some formulations. Whereas in multiple emulsions there is distinct phase ratio such as water oil water or oil in water in oil where the internal phase is dispersed within another dispersed phase. Then microemulsions often exhibit high encapsulation efficiency due to small particle size and enhanced solubilization capacity. On the other hand, multiple emulsions may have variable encapsulation efficiency which depends on various factors such as droplet size, stability and 
compatibility of the internal phase of the emulsion components. Then next point of differentiation are drug release from microemulsion can occur through diffusion from the droplet or destruction of the external uh, of the emulsion structure. Whereas multiple emulsions drug release can be due to diffusion through multiple interfaces or phases leading to complex release kinetics. Then microemulsions are generally considered biocompatible and suitable for various pharmaceutical and cosmetic applications. Whereas multiple emulsions may require careful selection of components to ensure biocompatibility especially for application involving drug delivery or ingestions. Next point, microemulsions are stabilized by low concentration of surfactants and sometimes there may be use of co-surfactants whereas multiple, multiple emulsions require a combination of surfactants and stabilizers to maintain the stability of both internal and external phases. Then your microemulsion they exhibit rapid drug release due to small droplet size and high surface area. Whereas multiple emulsions provide sustained or controlled release of encapsulated substance depending on the composition and structure of the emulsion. Moving to next point, microemulsions are less affected by temperature changes due to their thermodynamic stability. Whereas multiple emulsions may undergo phase transition or instability with the change in temperature affecting their structure and properties. Next point of differentiation, microemulsions can be relatively easier to scale up for industry production due to their simple formulation and stability. However, multiple emulsions may pose challenge in scaling up production due to their complexity of their structure and need for precise control over processing parameters. So that's all students in our today's video. I hope you have understood the difference between microemulsion and multiple emulsions. So thank you students for watching this video till end.